Let's play a little game called Winning with BRS, the military's blended retirement system. There are four rules you need to follow to increase your chances of coming out on top. Rule number one, start investing at least 5% of your basic pay, preferably more, into the thrift savings plan. To be clear, you'll still receive some benefit from the DOD if you contribute less than 5%, but 5% is where the real magic starts to happen. That's because when you invest 5%, you'll essentially be doubling your money, or at least your contribution, with a little help from the DOD. Here's how. You put in 5% of your basic pay. At this level of contribution, the DOD will give you a match of 4% of your pay. And finally, regardless of how much you contribute, and even if you contribute nothing at all, the DOD will automatically put 1% of your basic pay into your TSP for a total of 10%. And know this about the TSP. Any money you put in and any growth you experience on that money is always yours when you leave the service. The same is true for all DOD contributions once you've served long enough. Be sure to learn all of the important details about the timing, makeup, and vesting of DOD contributions by visiting militarypay.defense.gov or by talking to a financial counselor on your installation. Rule number two for coming out on top with the BRS. Get smart about the TSP. The TSP offers a wide range of investment funds that invest in stocks, bonds, and there's even a guaranteed fund. Educate yourself on which funds meet your appetite for risk. If investing isn't your strong suit, consider one of the life cycle funds, which take higher risk in the early years, but automatically become less risky as time goes on. And whatever you do, stick with your investing strategy. It's tempting to change your investments whenever the stock market goes down, but here's the thing, the market will go down, and up, and sideways. But to give yourself the best chance of long-term success, just stick with your plan and don't try to time the market. You can learn all about the TSP at tsp.gov. Rule number three, make the most of continuation pay. Continuation pay is a mid-career payment in exchange for serving at least three more years. There are a number of variables that can impact the amount of this payment, but it's quite possible that your payout could be substantial. Because you'll be at a midpoint in your career when this payout is made, you'll need to start thinking about when your military career is over. And that means making the most of this money. So, rather than planning to use this money for something big like a new car or a boat or a grand vacation, there's a good chance you should probably invest it instead for your ultimate retirement or use it to aid your transition out of the military. Consider this regarding the investing approach. A $10,000 lump sum that earns an average of 7% per year for 35 years should be worth almost $107,000 in the end. Invest more or earn more, and the ending number will be even bigger. And finally, rule number four for winning with the BRS, stick around. In most cases, you need to serve at least 20 years to receive the pension portion of the BRS. Assuming you do, here's how the calculation works. To figure how much you'll get each month, take 2% times years of service times retired base pay. To put this in real terms, an E7 retiring today under this system would get a monthly check of about $1,800. An O5 would receive about $3,400. And what's even better, these amounts then increase each year with any cost of living adjustments. But remember, if you don't make it to 20 years, you don't get any of this benefit. So again, stick around. So that's it. To increase your chances of winning with the BRS, one, invest at least 5% of your basic pay in the TSP. Two, get smart about how the TSP works. Three, make the most of continuation pay. And four, stick around.